Hey, Sue Wavy, baby. This is the King of Ray. Back at it again. You can see my friend. If you don't know, you know. Please like, comment, subscribe, all the things, all the things. Respect my house. At respect my house. Take your shoes off before you. Thank you. I want to get my opinion on Dave Chappelle in his last special, uh, The Closer. Well, it appears Dave Chappelle is still doing stand up, I believe, overseas, or still doing stand up, and addresses the controversy that his stand up got that he knew he was going to get that he said in his stand up. Let's react to what Dave Chappelle has to say. Eh? Stunted. It's been said in the press that I was invited to speak to the transgender employees at Netflix and I refuse. That is not true. If they had invited me, I would have accepted it, although I am confused about what we are speaking about. I said what I said and boy, I heard what you said. My God, how could I not? You said you you want a safe working environment at Netflix. Well, it seems like I'm the only one that can't go to the office anymore. Once again, I don't understand if you want equality, if you want awareness, if you want discussions, then Canceling is the last thing that will help that. And creating a toxic environment with your protests isn't helping either. From the outside looking in, it's just my opinion. Though. I want everyone in this audience to know that it, even though the media frames this, that it's me versus that community, that is not what it is. Do not blame the LBGTQ community for any of this shit. This has nothing to do with them. It's about corporate interests and what I can say and what I cannot say. For the record, and I need you to know this, everyone I know from that community has been nothing but loving and supporting. So I don't know what all this nonsense is about. In summer 2020, when the whole world shut down, I was outside doing shows. My neighbor had a cornfield and he let me throw shows there and people came from all over the country. Some people came from around the world to see those shows. The best comedians. I believe he might be referring to 846. You've got to watch that. Talking about the George Floyd situation. This is, go watch it, bro. Go watch it. On Earth, came to my home and broke bread with me. And we lived our lives. We found a way to keep moving forward. I made a whole documentary about it. The first night of those shows was a piece that some of you might have seen. It was called 846, and it dealt with the death, the murder of George Floyd. This film that I made was invited to every film festival in the United States, and some of those invitations I accepted. And when this controversy came out, about the closer, they began disinviting me from these film festivals. And now, today, not a film company, not a movie studio, not a film festival, nobody will touch this film. Thank God for Ted Sarandos and Netflix. He's the only one that didn't cancel me yet. To the transgender community, I am more than willing to give you an audience, but you will not summon me. I am not bending to anybody's demands.
And if you want to meet with me, I'd be more than willing to, but I have some conditions. Oh, shit. Now, once again, <sighs> any movement has demands, has certain actions and want people to take. That's any movement, civil rights movement, Black Lives Matter, LGBT, any movement. But we also got to remember that we can't be controlling people and telling them what we can and cannot do. Um, especially when it's just speech. It's different when there are actually people getting killed. right? People that don't have rights. All this is just because somebody has a different perspective and opinion. Which at the end of the day, I don't, I'm honestly not seeing the, the controversy because at the end of the day it's still... A pain of speech. There's no knees on necks. There's no dogs and hoses. It's speech. Once again, this is different from the baby. This guy has a different outlook and perspective that is getting out to the world. That is getting people to discuss what's discuss LGBTQ, which is I would think what LGBT LGBTQ wants. <laughs> give them a, 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 a spotlight on them which I think they will want so why are you the only, the biggest celebrity one of the biggest celebrities that's actually putting a spotlight on you why are you trying to tear now it's not everybody once again don't think everybody not everybody does agree with Dave Chappelle that isn't LGBTQ everybody doesn't agree with LGBTQ that's in LGBTQ Everybody has a different opinion. That's what makes person great. What makes people not so great is group think. Everybody's not the same, right? That's what we're basically saying, right? So, once again, I understand if you feel a way, no matter which pit side of the pendulum you're on, but the purpose of everything is to help have open dialogue, yes or no. Not to cancel, not to control, not to shame. Once again, on both sides, I would think the objective is to have a discussion. Open dialogue. Let's figure out what our differences are. Or hear our different opinions, and it's okay to say, I agree to disagree. <laughs> First of all, you cannot come if you have not watched my special from beginning to end. You must come to a place of my choosing and a time of my choosing. And thirdly, you must admit that Hannah Gatsby is not funny. Crazy! I legit just saw her. Uh, saw a piece of her. I legit just saw her today. Like I didn't even know who that was till today. That's crazy. Oh, shots fired! <coughs> they shooting. I made you look. You just a slave in the page in my mind book. Let's go. I desperately want people to see this movie, but I understand why investors would be nervous since nobody will touch it. I'll tell you what I'll do. I will make it available for all of you in 10 American cities going on sale in the next few days. You will be able to see this movie in its entirety and you can see what they're trying to obstruct you from seeing. And you can judge for yourself, but you cannot have this conversation and exclude my voice from it. That is only fair. You have to answer the question, am I canceled or not? Then let's go. Thank you very much and good night. <laughs> Untitled. Damn, he ain't nowhere near me except New York City. So. Documentary. That should be interesting. Um, 
what was, what, was, what was his demands? First one was, uh, you must watch the whole special in its entirety. A lot of, I said this in my uh, thing, my reaction, a lot of people, they were talking that they didn't see the actual special. They just saw people's reviews or reviews of reviews of reviews. So, if I have an opinion, at least watch it for yourself. One, two. Um, now, him saying if we're going to have a meeting, it must be on my terms. Hey, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> since he's the one that's getting canceled, I guess that, that's fair. I, I don't really have a dog in the fight on that one. Y- y'all handle that. How you handle that? And three, <laughs> he said he must agree. Hannah, what's her name? Hannah something? Is it funny? I haven't watched enough of her to know if she's funny or not. I just saw a, a clip of her um, today. Um, I'll say this. She's no Dave Chappelle. <laughs> but once again, I just find it weird. Like Of all people, you want to cancel Dave Chappelle of all people? Once again, he is the only guy. Give me y'all a spotlight and give me y'all a boy. No, no, it's He's the only celebrity that's actually putting a spotlight on you to have these millions and millions of videos and reviews and tweets and all that. He's the only one. There's nobody else that's outside of the community anyway. You think you would want to break bread instead of break him. Know what I mean? <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, share, we out.